Dream of going there, playing, you know, there as a Husky, or did you always want to be a Gopher? Uh, you know, growing up, I, I have to say, I can't lie to you guys. I, uh, you know, I had my season tickets as a Husky uh, with my dad, and we would go to a lot of home games, and it was tough. I mean, we watched, uh, you know, we cheered against, you know, every team that came in, including the Gophers. So it was t it's one of those uh, situations now that the tides have, you know, changed a little bit as I've, you know, as I've matured and grew up, grown up. It's something I have to, you know. Bear with them now that we're coming home. To, but like I said, I'm excited about the weekend. You know, I can't be uh, happier that I'm a golfer and being here. So, are home and homes weird? You guys get into that routine. How does that kind of disrupt things at all? You know, it, I have yet to be a part of a home and home series. Last year, we did the thing where they came out and played us. But uh, you know, I think that uh, we just gotta you know get into the routine right away. That when we get up there, we're at the mindset that we have to play and. You know, you know, have a successful you know first period because that's the biggest thing in that arena. I mean, the energy is going to be, you know, uh, off the Richter scale, and everyone's going to be excited. And it's, it's you know first time we've been there in a couple of years, and so I mean that's the biggest thing for us that you know you just got to take it one game at a time, especially when we come back to play here on Saturday night. Let's say a bunch of guys that you got that test, and you get punched pretty good in the mouth on Friday, and then you do bounce back and, and right things pretty quickly on Saturday. Yeah, it was a you know if you, this past weekend. Yeah, it was uh, you know Wisconsin did a really good job with you know harnessing the energy that we tried to get you know um, going in the first period, and you know they bogged down some of our key players and you know kept our top guys off the score sheet, and that was the biggest thing. And you know when we don't get you know some of our guys to get around the net and you know getting those grimy, dirty goals, I mean it's tough for us to get going. And obviously it's the biggest thing for us is just energy. Uh, you know our fourth line provides energy. You know and they you know played really well this, this last couple weekends and that's what we've been feeding off of and you know like when we don't get that thing going and it's tough it's tough especially in a building like that it was the cold center was tough to play in so but then bouncing back saturday where you know it, it could be you know you're on this hot streak and then you lose on friday but then you do have that chance and you do come right back out right away it, it was a it was a good feeling i mean obviously you uh you know you're sitting there that that's a, it was a long waiting period from friday to saturday night with the video that we went through and the meetings you know, everyone. I think everyone was just kind of antsy to see like how would we how would we respond. And the coaches said, you know, like you know, are you guys for real, or are you guys going to come out and you know be the team we think that you were capable of being, or are, you, are we going to lay down because we didn't have success last night? And I thought that we proved that, you know, <clears throat> we need that. You know, thing games like that are going to happen. You know, that you're going to have those certain you know situations where you're not on. I mean, and like we weren't you know on that Friday night, but to come back on Saturday, it's good. It was good uh, bounce back for us. Yeah. Why do you guys think you play so well on the road? I mean, your record's better on the road the last two years. Uh, you know, I think it's the whole distractions. Uh, you know, getting in the, on the, in the in the hotel room, we kind of just keep together as a team. And, you know, having everybody in an enclosed area is something that I think that is really helpful for, for us. And everyone just kind of keeps real, their mindset real clear and open. And, you know, games that, you know, it's easier to play loose on the road. I mean, home is when all the pressure uh, of you know performing in front of the home fans and in the role you're just trying to you know just trying to salvage points and you know we've been doing pretty well at doing uh, doing that so that's a big thing for us. Well, you're sort of going home though. Is it, do you think though, there's more pressure for you up in St. Cloud? Uh, you know, for me, I think that you know obviously it's going to be an emotional game. Uh, yeah. It's going to happen where it, you know I, I played there growing up. I know. I mean, but the beauty of it for me is that I played in the rink growing up. I know the the, the bounces of the of the. <laughs> Of the rink, so I, that's not going to be so much of a, a change as so much as the atmosphere. But like I said, I, you know, I'm playing in front of fans, uh, friends, and family. Uh, that's going to be really helpful for me. There have been notable St. Cloud guys who have come and played for the Gophers before. I mean, Chris Harrington comes to mind. Did, did you guys, you know, as a kid, did you think he was like a traitor or anything like that? Uh, you know, I, I mean, I never, you know, thought that about uh, Chris or any of the guys that you know that came down here. It's, you know, I've always from you know I've realized that you know guys choose their own paths and. And uh, you know it worked for. I felt like Chris had a great career here. So, you know, I mean, obviously, as a St. Cloud kid, you grow up, and you know, it's you know maybe looked down upon if you're uh, you know gold friend because it's always pro husky everywhere. And so, I mean, it, it happens. But you know, it, it's a it's a aspect where um, I, you know I have embraced it so far, and I think that you know, like I said, I'm you know could be happier to be here.